Hey everyone, welcome to Chanel Romaine Art. Here I'll be using a 16 by 20 canvas. You can get a value pack from Michaels or um, Hobby Lobby. I am using three brushes, large, medium, and small. My large brushes are for bigger spaces, my medium is for medium spaces, and my small is for details. I'm going to show you all how to go about cleaning the brush. I have a paper plate as my palette and a cup of water, you all. Those are the colors I'll be using. So you're going to take your brush that has paint on it, and this is how you clean it. You take your water, you stir the bottom of your coffee, stir that sugar in there, that sugar in your Kool-Aid, whatever the case may be. Um, stir it and tap the sides of the excess water and um, simply just dab it on your towel dry the rest off with your towel. That's how you clean your brushes. Keep your dirty brushes inside the water at all times so that your bristles will not dry out and we are good to go. So um, this paint was kind of thick. What I ended up doing was uh, just adding some water from my cup and, uh, to the palette just to thin it out a bit and for it to spread a little bit thinner on to the canvas. It's best to do thin layers. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna layer, I don't know if I said that earlier, but <laughs> I like to layer my paintings and so I do not like to, um, I don't like it to be too thick initially. I'm going to once I'm done with this layer I'm going to give it about 10 to 15 minutes to dry or you can use a blow dryer my shape and if you have any suggestions as to how I can improve this let me know if it's too far from the camera let me know let me come in a little bit zoom in a little bit I think that'll help there okay so we're gonna go ahead and um, the, the braids are gonna be off the hair I mean off the head so you definitely want to come past the head this is a shape we're drawing, okay? So come past the head and do that. So now, starting about right here, we're gonna have our braids swinging off to the side. Then we're gonna go ahead here. Okay. Neck. This side of her neck is covered, so we're not going to worry about that side. Just going to worry about this side here. Okay. Create that for the neck. And we're going to make sure the shoulders are off of the head. <laughs> No one showed us is right where the head is. Okay, just gonna draw that down. And I'm gonna go ahead and about right here. Actually, let's go in here and draw this side of the arm too. So let's once we do that arm, now we may have to adjust these arms as well. Let's go ahead here, pretend like this will be seen. Some of it will be seen, okay. okay. This is the arm. Let's 
So a lot of this is gonna be braids. Matter of fact, I'm gonna draw another line, another shape. I'm gonna come down here and draw more of a, the braids. Okay, just as a guideline. Draw another shape for braids down here. Just So what I did was this, just drew a shape in there, okay? Open the shoulder, not too far out. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead right here and create a spaghetti strap. You're not gonna really see it on this side. So I'm gonna bring it here. And then we're gonna go for a scoop neck. Okay, go for a scoop neck. And we're going to curve it for the boob. Okay. And then her arm, the rest of her arm. Going to erase some of that in there. It's kind of. Bring that down a bit. Now yours can be curvier. Okay. All right. So that's that so far. I'm gonna fix her shirt. Bring it up. Okay. So this would be her spaghetti strap over here that it isn't visible basically. But what are we gonna do? Let's create this part. Her arm is so, her arm is a bit thick for this. So this is kind of not, let's go ahead. I'm gonna erase and bring her arm in a little bit. Okay, to kind of match this part of her body. And we can actually That's why you don't want to commit to no, to nothing automatically. We can leave that as is, okay? Make her a little bit thicker in the waist. Bring this down some, okay? The nice thing is all these strokes and erasers, is it erasers? <laughs> all this stuff is gonna be, um, so I'm gonna make sure the boobs line up, draw an invisible line here and just go there. Okay. So, sometimes you have to do a little bit more erasing than what you plan, but that's okay though. And this actually is gonna be covered with more braid. Okay. That is our woman drawn out. Now I wanna kinda, I don't know, you can probably give her some edges or something. Just a little bit of something. Okay. Now, to kinda take away from the roundness of her face, to give it more shape, I'm gonna come in here a bit. Okay. And then I'm going to erase that part. So I just gave her, I just put in a slight curve of a line there 
for her face and I'm going to erase this part. So that circle was more so of a guideline. Don't stress out, okay? It's okay. For the perfectionists out there, it's okay. <laughs> I just curved her face in. Gave it more of a curve. That's all. You can even go in with the chin and bring the chin in a tad bit and erase the circuit, the outside circle, the circular part. Okay. So the circle, the shape we draw, always just guidelines. Now this here, let me erase this. We're gonna erase this because we're not gonna see this part anyway. And just to make it easier for you, for those who can't really see as an artist, I don't wanna confuse you. So I'm gonna erase this part of her head. Okay. So now you see the braids. I'm wondering, I think what I wanna do, I wanna, now I'm going in. I'm sorry if I'm jumping ahead of y'all. Now I'm going in and I'm gonna create this shape of her braids the way I want them. I think that was a little too far out. And I need to sharpen my pencil and I'm gonna bring this in a bit too. Okay, to make them nice and straight up here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give it a curve like that to give it that blowing effect that my braids had in the wind. Okay, so just went in and did that. And then we can erase this as well. This is this shoulder that we're not gonna see. We're gonna see some of this shoulder. Some of that shoulder might be po poking out. In the picture it is, but we don't have to do it exactly like the picture. All right, y'all. Y'all ready to rock and roll with some paint? Hopefully you can see that. That is our faceless woman. Maybe we'll complete her arm. Bring it down, maybe. How do I want her arm? Do I want it in or what? Just don't want her arm to look weird. You know what I'm saying? That's fine like that, I guess. I kind of liked it in incomplete. We'll see when I'm painting. I changed my mind a lot when I'm painting. Well. All right, let me know how easy this was to follow along. I hope I did not complicate it. I am getting ready to do my background, add more. I want my background very opaque. So I'm gonna take my big brush again and I'm gonna just add a second layer of paint to it up here, all over actually.
I'm gonna let her dry. And while she's drying, we're gonna go ahead and take our medium sized brush. And the first thing we're gonna do is the skin. So depending on what complexion you are or what complexion you would like your painting to be, that's what we're gonna, you're gonna adjust accordingly, okay? So let's get started. Okay hey guys, I totally uh, misplaced the video for the um, skin part. So this is me mixing a couple of variations of skin tones. So if you have um, medium skin tone, you can go ahead and add yellow, some red, a little bit of white, or you can, um, if you have a lighter skin tone, you can add more white. If you have a richer, deeper skin tone, add a tad bit of black to your brown but here you're going to just see me mix some skin tones and you can use this as a guide your small brush to get into smaller spaces that's perfectly fine please if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like this where I create images of like after I do a certain hairstyle if you'd like to create more of this, please give it a thumbs up. Let me put just a little bit. Let's take that brown, dip it in that brown. I'm gonna just right here. Make it a little bit darker to Separate the head from the neck a bit. I might have to go in and outline what I mess up. That's fine too. Once you get the hang of doing these, the more you'll be able to relax because you will have, you know, you will have, have had some practice under your belt. If you're like a perfectionist, you'll start to understand the tricks and stuff. The tricks of the tray, how to get it how you like it. Everything comes with practice. Anybody can learn how to draw and paint. Believe you me.
I didn't always know how to um, draw. Get that texture out of there. I didn't always know how to draw. So I always had a natural um, artistic side to me, but it really came out through hair. I was very naturally good at hair as a young child. Um, honey, I played, I played baby dolls growing up, but one of the things that I did with my dolls is I, um, I would do their hair uh, every weekend. I would come home from school and I would have all my dolls, <laughs> like they were at the beauty shop and I would ride their hair put French rolls in it, crochet, like all kinds of stuff, y'all. <laughs> so I wasn't a typical child when it came to like the styles of my dolls, like styling their hair. Girl, I was styling, I, you know, we would do ponytails every now and again, but honey, they had tattoos and everything. I put tattoos on <laughs> and everything. Girl, my dolls was grown, okay? They were grown. Let me darken this a bit. Don't overthink this part, y'all. I'm just going over it again. It might be too wet for me to go over it. Okay. I'm gonna have to go over that. I'll clean my brush off and I'm gonna go. Dip it back in the skin tone. I just go up a little bit because that's kind of too far. I took that dark brown down a little too far. I just want kind of a V shape there. And then I'm going to blend it upward. Y'all, I'm overthinking this part. <laughs> now I just want to kind of, you know, fix it a tad bit. I'm actually going to add a shadow right here like that. Okay, a shadow from the braid. Just kind of do something like that. And then I'm gonna go in with that brown again. And right here, it's too much paint on there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put that in water and take out my baby brush. Use this. A bit of, you know, just to show the boobs. Just adding some shadows. We don't want her super flat. She's already gonna be a flat figure, like F L A C flat. Um, but we want to at least show that she has a neck and bosom. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go in with my teal, my detailed brush, and I'm gonna fix what I, oh, girl, I just messed it up again. That's okay though. It's art. It's all good. So we're gonna take this same brush, this detail brush. We're gonna add some shadow over here. Add some shadow from the braid, the braids rather. And then we're gonna go over here bit more shadow from these braids. Okay. Let's 
so I'm, I decided to pull a picture out as a reference to kind of see what I where the shadows are on that picture with that a bit more so there's a shadow in here and I'm just kind of blending it a bit so we're just creating shadow okay so I'm just using a darker brown now this is still wet and that's how, kind of how I want it because I want to do um, some blending. And uh, that's about all. Let me just go back in here. Okay. Let's do that. Let me bring it down a bit so. You see how where at first she was real flat and now she has some shadow to her. You know, and I'm gonna actually go a little further and I'm gonna add a shadow over here. I'm dipping between the dark brown and the skin tone brown to blend those, okay? And it ain't gotta be perfect either. So we doing that. And then we're gonna, this may get covered, but it's okay. We're gonna add a shadow there as well. So we're just giving her a bit more shape. Go up here, add a shadow. Okay. I'm just shaping her face a bit. And I think I'm gonna just go add a little bit of hairline up here. Just a tad bit. Just a little. Okay. She ain't bald over here. She got some here. I'm just adding a little bit of something right there. I'm gonna add a shadow right here. And that's it, that's gonna be it, okay? Now, I may go back in and add some shadows to her face, I don't know yet, we'll see. But I'm going to zoom in or bring it up a bit for you all to see. You see, this ain't perfect at all. And that's, you don't want it perfect. It ain't going to be perfect. It's perfectly fine. I'm going to go in here and add another go over this a little bit more because it's a little drier now so i want some of this to stay and not blend as much i want this shadow to be a little deeper so i'm just going in some more okay Over here too. I ain't trying to give her that much cleavage, you know, just some shadow. But you feel free to do you. Just gonna go in here and creating some more shadows. Dip my brush a little bit in this water, just the tip of it. Give it a little bit of, you know, so I can just wet it a little bit so you can something like that okay all right I think I'm done with that part now let's go ahead and we're gonna do the hair last okay so 
the top. What color do I want the top? I didn't even think of that part. <laughs> what color should I do the top? Let's see here. Let me think about that. All right, I decided on orange. I guess that's part of why I put it on here as well. I forgot I was gonna do orange. Let me get some orange. I'm definitely gonna need a few, a couple layers of orange.
Take some brown. I'm gonna add brown to this mixture, darken it a little bit. I'm gonna actually clean this brush off. Give it that shape again. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is just gonna create some small like zigzag lines, basically. Uh oh. Okay. So starting up here, actually I'm gonna start like here. And literally do it like this. Okay. to be perfect just give me the illusion of a braid Up here is our highlight, so up there I'm going to have um, some lighter braids up there. So I'm going to leave that as is. Go back to it. But I'm going to take this down here.
So I ended up going over my painting with more layers. Um, I went over the background with another layer. The orange, as you can see, um, I went over that with a different color orange. Um, and I went over her face again, actually. So um, you can either leave your painting uh, as is if you did it step by step with me. Or you can also go over your painting with more layers. Now the colors may not be exact, and that is fine. Um, and oh, of course, and I added some lips. <laughs> I'll insert that video of me outlining, uh, putting a double layer on the lips. <laughs> 